So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Game. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. I'm not really sure what's going on with John. He hasn't really, uh, ever since his shop closed, um, he hasn't really been responding to messages too much, so, uh, he might be a little down in the dumps about it. I'm not sure. He may be back. I don't know. But, right now, I have a few more of his toy reviews, um, scheduled, uh, for the oncoming weeks. Uh, so you will see some more of those, and then after that, I'm not sure. Your guess is as good as mine, so um, things might change up a little bit here. Um, but today, I'm going to be going over a review of Dynamite Comics Masks. This is from Chris Robertson, Alex Ross, Dennis Calero. Um, it features the Shadow, Green Hornet, and Kato, uh, a new Zorro, uh, Web, uh, the Black Bat, and Black Terror, and Miss Fury. Let me just go ahead and give you guys a synopsis here. The Shadow, the Green Hornet, and Kato, the Spider. In 1938, these mass vigilantes operated outside the law working independently to strike fear into the hearts of evildoers. But when the corrupt politicians of the Justice Party transformed New York into a fascist state run by mobsters, when an oppressive regime grants jackbooted stormtroopers free reign to imprison, extort, and execute the innocent, when the law itself becomes unjust, justice must be served by outlaws. Outnumbered and outgunned, the legendary vigilantes emerge from the shadows to fight Joined by Zorro, the Green Llama, Miss Fury, Black Terror, and the Black Bat. Nine renowned pulp heroes brought together for the first time in an epic conflict of law versus justice. This actually contains the origin stories of the new Zorro and the Black Bat. Starting off, uh, it introduces the Green Hornet and Kato um, have traveled to New York. And they're met by the Shadow, who... At first, they think is a criminal, you know, but turns out he's a vigilante just like them, only he's not afraid to kill if need be. Then we have the spider, a rich guy who puts on a mask and cape and <laughs> just goes around and serving justice at night. Uh, Zorro is actually the descendant of the original Zorro, and he's an artist who... He's come to New York uh, to try and get a job as an artist. He gets stopped by these police stormtroopers. There's a law that, you know, if you are if you can't prove that you have residence in the city, you're going to automatically get arrested. Uh, I guess the Justice Party is tired of people coming to the city and just taking up space, basically. Uh, as, well, as well as poor people, immigrants stuff like that uh, unless you're wealthy or upper middle class you're going to jail or to a prison camp uh, possibly even executed and there he meets former district attorney um, who ends up becoming the black bat due to an accident with his eyes just like with uh, daredevil only at first he thinks he's completely blind but when the lights go out, he can actually see shapes and everything. So it, it's kind of just like Daredevil's powers, but it affects light rather than sound vibrations. Um, so anyway, these two end up becoming uh, heroes, the Black Bat and the New Zorro. And eventually they're joined by... In fact, here's an entire team shot right here. 
yeah, it's very good read. I discovered this after my wife had bought me uh, the Lone Ranger graphic novel. It's something I've always wanted to see. I've always wanted to see the Shadow team up with the Green Hornet and Kato, Zorro. Um, I kind of wish the Phantom would have been included into it, but I can understand why he wasn't. Maybe at some point in the future we'll get a Masks 3, which will include the Phantom. Uh, we have Masks 2, which is kind of a time travel uh, story, um, which I'll be getting uh, all order soon. Uh, there are a lot of Star Wars references to the, in this. The It's shortly after the Phantom meets the Green Hornet and Kato for the first time. Shadow vanishes, and uh, Green Hornet says, how does he do that? And Kato just says, impressive, most impressive. A little shout out to Dark Vader, you know, from, I believe, it was Empire, when he was fighting Luke. And then, of course, the uh, calling the, this new police force Stormtroopers, and just different things like that. Uh, give quite a few shout outs to Star Wars. Even though it takes place way before Star Wars ever even existed back in uh, 1938. I won't spoil the end for you. Uh, but you can kind of see it coming from a mile away. They do hint at who's actually in charge of the Justice Party. But it's really, it's really good. The artwork is done by Alex Ross. Uh, very gritty. Very... Uh, pulpish you know i've always liked the shadow ever since uh alec baldwin played him in the 90s um and what's more is that the green hornet and kato are teaming up with zorro in this because the green hornet is actually the nephew of the lone ranger during the lone ranger's time there were several stories of the lone ranger teaming up with zorro so now we get the next generation of the Green Hornet, his nephew, teaming up with the new Zorro. So that's pretty cool, too. See, it says here, collecting the complete eight-issue miniseries by Chris Robertson, Alex Ross, and Dennis Calero, along with over 70 pages of bonus material, including Chris Robertson's script, with Alex Ross's complete thumbnails for issue number one, character designs and sketches by Alex Ross and Jay Lee, and a complete cover gallery featuring the art of Alex Ross, Jay Lee, Sean Phillips, Francesco Francavilla, and many more. Uh, personally, I really like this story. Um, I think it would do very, very well if they were to turn this into a movie. Uh, Dynamite, since they currently hold the rights to these characters who are kind of in the public domain, I guess, uh, they really could transform some of their graphic novels here into movies. Like uh, The Lone Ranger, they did a really good job with that. I reviewed it before. Uh, they could do... If they were to start off with this to kind of introduce all their heroes. And then let this be the catalyst for their movie, their film universe. Like The Avenger. Uh, Avengers was for uh, for Marvel Entertainment and I think they could do I think it could compete with the Avengers I mean it wouldn't be hard to surpass uh, DC right now with the DC Cinematic Universe uh, but I think this could really compete with Marvel Studios with the Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, great job and if they were to turn, transform this into a movie, then they could follow it up with a new Shadow movie, a new Green Hornet movie, minus Seth Rogen, because he was... I don't understand why they cast him as the Green Hornet and why they tried to, why they tried to make it a comedy. It was just ridiculous. It was stupid. But that's besides the point. Uh, they could also follow it up with a Spider, uh, maybe a Spider TV series. Um, Zorro, possibly a new Zorro TV series. Um, just so many. You got the Black Terror, who 
eventually stars in Project Superpowers, which is, again, by Dynamite Comics, uh, along with Green Llama. Um, and, I mean, there's just so many characters. They, they could create a new Phantom movie. Some people liked it. Some people didn't. I liked Billy Zane as a Phantom. I liked the sci-fi version of Phantom. Uh, they updated it quite well, I thought. So they could bring the Phantom back to the silver screen, you know. Um, but yeah, I give this an A+. Plus, uh, Ten stars. If you have a chance, grab you a copy. It's Masks by Dynamite Comics. Um, this came out in 2013. So, yeah, it's a few years old. Still well worth a read. Check it out. Check out Masks 2, which I'll be getting soon. Um, and until then, take care, guys. And uh, hope to see you back real soon. And once we get uh, once I get the kinks worked out of this new format for Comageddon, take care. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.